for finding me and Larry for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to his links in the description. Larry, do you know who this woman is? Uh, I think that's uh, Scotty Pippen's uh, little trick, right? That's Scotty Pippen's ex-wife and Scotty Pippen's son. Well, she made the news. Yeah, she made the news this week, ladies and gentlemen, doing what she does best. I'll yeah, let you she, guys... she's been in whole mode for a while, hasn't she? I mean, ain't most NBA wives in whole mode most of the yeah. time? Groupie mode, whatever you want to call it. Take uh, a look at what's going on with her right now. Larsa Pippen definitely has a type. NBA athlete. She was spotted out with a Timberwolves player days after he signed a $60 million deal. Here's the inside Dang. scoop. Larsa Pippen is still in the throes of her divorce from Scottie Pippen, but she's hitting the town and living her life as a single woman who is ready to mingle. And she's not straying too far from her ex-husband. She has her eyes set on another NBA athlete. Larsa was spotted out with Malik Beasley, a 24-year-old Timberwolves guard who recently signed a four-year, $60 million deal with the Minnesota team. The two were spotted out holding hands and looking very cozy. Wags T After Dark shared these pics with the caption, the devil works hard, but Larsa Pippen works harder. To make matters worse, Damn. back in March, Malik Beasley mm. and Wags Yao Montana had secretly tied the knot. I highly doubt a divorce was finalized because Malik and Yao are now facing felony charges related to a September incident in which the NBA player allegedly pointed an automatic rifle at a car containing a family in an idling car near his rental house. Okay, lots to unpack here, but the takeaways are is that Malik was married and was spending time with his wife as recently as September. Either their relationship crumbled very quickly or the Wolves athlete is cheating on his new spouse with Larsa. One thing is clear though, Larsa and Malik look very cozy, so we'll have to see what happens next with them. Larsa Pippen definitely has a type. She loves going for those NBA athletes, whether it's Scottie Pippen or Malik or even Tristan Thompson, who she claims she was dating when Chloe met him. It's always going to be a pro basketball player for Larsa. And the guys obviously love her too. 46 year old is definitely an attractive woman. What do you guys think is going on here? Is it serious? Is he cheating? Are they going to last? So many questions. Let me know all your answers in the comment section below. Man, let me tell you something about this woman and people that do what she's doing. She know exactly what the hell she's doing. <laughs> she jumped on this young pup. And Larry, I don't care what you want to say. You might try to you might try to maim me for this, but the older you are, the hell, the more tricks you learn, the older you get. That chick has probably got so many tricks in her bag that she's going to throw in this 24-year-old. His ass is liable to get her pregnant with twins, and she done got the bag all over again. Isn't she like 40-something now? 46, yeah. What? what and? What? That's a little old to have a kid. I mean, that's, that's talking about, I mean, hell. that is what they, no, seriously, hell. that is what they call a geriatric <laughs> pregnancy because it's dangerous no. at that point. Man, well, it's it's a new trend that started like six years ago. I can name you five women that have had babies over the age of 45, and they act like it ain't nothing. And then, having said that, she can just have somebody else carry the baby she wants to get the bag from him. I feel like this. Homeboy was married, okay? And... Now his wife is saying that after seeing these pictures, it caused so much unrest with her. She's about to file for divorce. I kind of always yeah. feel like when people get involved with mega celebrities and athletes, and that's men and women, no matter how good you think the person is, you have to keep your eye on the fact that this type of stuff is going to happen. This this type of it goes with the territory. At times, I feel like some people know it's going to happen. They wish, and they're just thinking that they're going to change the individual from dibba dabbling in this type of temptation. My question to you, Larry, is this another cash grab for Larsa Pippen? And they did bring and get the son involved. So the son was, you know, tweeting and talking about it because people were saying they feel sorry for the son, yada, yada, yada. 
And the son said, hey, don't worry about me. I ain't the one that's spinning around on all these penises. <laughs> yeah. So what you think? I mean, is that her son? That's her or son. Or is Scotty Pippen's son? That's her son, Scotty Pippen's son, Scotty Pippen Jr. I mean, look at why would why would a young man want to be with her? Like, I mean, look at her. Well, look, look, look at his real wife. They look about the same. Well, his real wife looks like she's probably more age appropriate. Look at her face. She looks like she's had so much work done. She looks like she can't even smile. And his Instagram wife don't. <sighs> Maybe I don't know. I see, just I, I mean and see that's the thing that I can't figure out either, Larry, because you know a lot of beautiful natural women who don't do anything feel the same way I feel. What the hell do these rich men seeing these women with fake lips, fake boobs, fake butts, um rhinoplasty? They all kind of start looking and I how can I say this without offending the LGBT community? Larry, what's, they look like what's drag queens in a, in a lot of ways? Okay. They look like drag queens. Exactly. That's the proper way to say it. There you go. So, yeah. so what's the deal, bro? What's the deal? I mean, his his wife doesn't look bad. His wife looks cool. She looks like she's probably had some collagen injections in her lips or something, but she looks cool. But the other chick, the Larissa stuff, she looks terrible. Her face looks like it's just, she looks like she's been to the plastic surgeon one too many times. Like she, she probably, she looks like she was probably a beautiful woman if she just would have left her face alone. Yeah, she's and got now that she looks she, like it doesn't move. She got that little Kim look going on, you know. That yeah, she looks Kim like is. yeah, she looks like she's she looks like she's at that point where she is she's right at the she's right on the edge of looking freakish, like she's just there, and anything else she does is gonna push her over the to the freakish edge, and she just needs to leave that. But I just don't understand. Maybe he needs a mommy figure or something. I don't understand why he needs to be with someone like that. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I just think to myself, like, there are so many beautiful women in the world. Why go get somebody who's been recycled through the league so many times and has such a history and you know what, you know, I mean, I, I just don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, hell, if, if you're going to go do, if you're going to go do something like that, go, go date a Kardashian. At least they'll get your career popping, you know? Well, I mean, I mean, I mean Larry, <laughs> forget I a say this. It's not a Kardashian knockout. Kardashians will take you and they will put you on a TV show. Next thing you know, you're going to have a, a whole other brand of clothes and shoes. You're going to you you will be a part of a brand. The Kardashians well, will hook your business up. So Larry, let, let me say it like this, man. There's something to be said about an older woman. They. They know how to cradle you right. I, they do They do all these little things that young chicks ain't going to do. When you're done beating with them, they might be rubbing through your hair. They're going to get a comb, scratch the dandruff out your hair, make you a sandwich. They, they, they'll pop the zits on your face. They'll do all the little stuff that the young chicks don't know how to do. And not to mention with all that age comes experience of things they know how to do in the bedroom to really blow your mind. And maybe that's what he wanted. I mean, I, I, I hear you. And I guess my point, I guess my point still remains. There's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of young women out there that have those skills. They know how to cook. They know how to treat a man. Shoot, go down south and go find you a nice young hottie. I bet you Mississippi knows how to do all that, you know? Yeah. I bet you I bet you Mercedes knows how to do all that if you can if you can lock her down. But I just I just think that I don't know. I don't I just think it's sort of ridiculous. I, I mean I have to tell I have to say if I was in the league and I met one of these chicks who had been around the league, dated a bunch of ball players, there's no way in hell I'm dating her. Like well, I, I, I might I, I might smash because right. it would be fun, maybe, but we're not gonna be holding hands, cupcake and walking through the mall. Nah. And, and, and you know, Larry, we'll see where it goes. Maybe he's trying to play her. Maybe she's trying to play him. Maybe this is just going to be some kind of um, arrangement of convenience because that happens too. Here's, here's the other thing I don't get about these dudes, right? 
Right. You get these dudes that are that that hit the hit the genetic lottery. These dudes six seven, six eight, you know, seven feet tall. They want to go marry some little five two chick that that is gonna mess up their gene pool. I don't understand why do it. If I I tell you right now, if I was in the NBA, what I would be doing Man. is going through the list of every WNBA player and find out who's straight because we know that a vast majority of them are not. No diss on the LGBT community. We just know a lot of the people in the league of the WNBA are part of that community. I would go find all the straight chicks, find the best looking ones, and I would start asking them out because I would want to improve my gene pool. If I'm 6'9 right now and she's six and she's six four, I want to make sure I have a seven two baby. Larry. I want to make sure that, that my kid Larry. is at least three, four inches taller than me. And if Stop I'm 6'10, then I want to Stop find a it. chick who's 6'8 so that we no. can then have a 7'4 baby. <laughs> no, you know good and damn well when we start thinking with the little head, we ain't thinking about no gene pool. We thinking about the pool we getting in that night so we can get these rocks off. And come on, man. Don't, you're going to tell me that you didn't marry your wife in part because she was smart as hell? You didn't want no dummy ass kids? Yeah, but I'm not six seven. See? See? I'm not six seven trying to produce a child that's going to be tall. That well, was your see, argument. Thing, though. You, but you were trying to. You were smart, and you were trying to produce a kid that's going to be even smarter. You were like, if I'm as smart as I am now, and I meet a, and marry a doctor, I'm going to end up with a kid that I don't know. My kid might be a Nobel Prize winner or something. So I'm thinking it's the same thing, just in the physical. No. It's just in the physical sector where you have somebody who is who's. Six eight, six nine. You go meet a woman who's six four, six five, six six, and then you have a super kid. Because these guys are legitimately getting these women that's five five, and some of them still having tall ass kids. Let's look at Shaquille O'Neal. Let's look at Kobe Bryant. Let's yeah, look at no, Michael had, Jordan. Shaquille O'Neal didn't have any kids as tall as him. Man, his oldest son is six eight, and is in yeah, LSU. Shaquille O'Neal is seven foot tall. Okay, but six eight is tall enough to get in the NBA. You got skills. It's not as, yeah, but he already he already diluted his gene pool. Shaq should have been hooked up with Lisa Leslie at least for the oh, kid. Oh man, at least for the man. kid. I'm done. I'm done. At least for the We're kid. Done. Maybe what's, We're a, what's done. the other chick's name? The uh, if, the little you, the chick that used to play for New York. The ladies uh, and gentlemen, if you like what Lars or Pippen did, leave me your comments. How you feel about Homeboy's baby mama that was five foot two? Let, leave Man. me your comment. Leave me your oh, comment. Yeah, I'm, I'm mean, out. I'm out of it. I'm I'm I'm, I'm 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 six foot in the morning. I wouldn't even have married a chick that was like five two. Man, come on, I mess. I, I don't even want to mess up my gene pool like that. If, if she if she's smart as hell, you marry her, right? She'd have to. She'd have to. She'd have to be like. Einstein yeah. brilliant mm -hmm. for me to go downhill like that. 